The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start the show out today by looking at the German DAX and also the FTSE for our friends across the pond. As you can see, with that German DAX, uh, it's had some really nice ABCD patterns uh, on the way down. And the same thing is true of the FTSE. We'll cover more of the ABCDs here in the U.S. in just a moment. But one of the first charts that we want to talk, to, uh, talk about today is the uh, cross rate of the Japanese yen versus the U.S. dollar. I want to get this up here because it's a very important chart to take a look at. This happens to be the uh, the daily chart. You'll notice that we've got a, a really nice uh, three-drive pattern coming up here at this level. Very, very important. But what we want to do now is you can see you can see the bottom that was made back in 2021. It was a beautiful three drives to a bottom pattern. I had a higher bottom. And you'll notice that you see the 382 retracement that occurred there in May. Folks, that, that is so very important because when you hit those spot on like that, you know, it's very, very important. Also, if you look on the left side of the chart over here on the daily, you see that down sloping trend line. What you want to do is be watching these lower highs because, as you can see here, that third high that came in came in exactly at a 61% retracement at 109. And from 109, went all the way down to uh, 102. Now, just to keep everybody happy, and I try to do that, which is almost impossible to do, but let's take a look now at the long-term weekly in the Japanese yen. You're going to see a totally different picture. This is why when you're trading, you've got to stick with the time frame that you're in, folks. Like Yogi Berra said, you got to dance with the girl that took you to the dance. So very important. There's that 61% retracement. We're right there, just about right now. That's off the high from 2017. We're taking out the highs of 2020. We have a three drive to a top pattern. This is not the time to be overly excited about the dollar versus the Japanese yen. So remind ourselves of that. A lot of big things have happened here the last few days, folks. I've been able to talk about some of them, but I wanted to share one of them with you. There was a webinar done uh, the night before last uh, worldwide from Agora Publications. It was a presentation by Jim Rickards. I, I didn't see it, but several people asked me about it. It was a one-hour sales uh, webinar, basically, is what it was, following an 85-page sales letter from uh, Stansbury Research and Agora Publications, who is the sponsor for Jim Rickards. And basically what it was, they were selling a $2,200 uh, package for uh, something spectacular. And basically what it was, it was buying options call options in the gold market. That's a whole $22, 2200 was that. But believe it or not, folks, this was a webinar, and you won't believe how many people were on there. There were 7,500 people, I was told, and they sold uh, $1.6 million worth in that one-hour time period. I don't know how much after that, but supposedly that's what they did. So the reason why I bring that to your attention is we have to watch the market closely here, folks. I want to share with you one of my charts here from one of our good buddies over there in the UK. Oh, Pedro. Pedro, this one's for you, buddy. I'm going to bring this up, but I know you're listening. This is uh, his chart. He's looking at the, uh, the move down here of these lower tops that you're looking here. The thing is, I always joke with Peter about this because I think he needs a few more lines because I think if you get a few more lines he would totally obscure everything except the numbers and then he would be in good shape he does well with this kind of stuff folks I don't I keep it as simple as possible oscillators moving averages I have never had any luck with that stuff and I've looked at it a lot of different ways and you know but that's just my two cents worth <laughs> who knows what's going on I also I wanted to mention you know we lost a good uh, good old TF not TF and good trading tutor uh, person this past week uh, 
Tobias Lefkowitz passed away. He was at Citibank at, in 2003 or four. but I met him uh, when he was just a kid. I think he was around in his mid-30s, but he's a really nice guy, one of the most humble human beings I've ever met in my life. He was hit by a car and uh, died. It took him a whole month. He was in a coma, and he passed away, but just a super, super fellow. And uh, anyway, let's take a look at a couple other of these things that are very, very important. Let's go back to the old ABC. We talk about ABC a little bit. Here's I want to show you. This is the ABCD in the stock market today. This is the S&P, and of course, it's a short term, but you know these are big moves that we're having, folks. This is a four-minute chart, but these, these moves in between here five hundred dollars each one of these you know that's equivalent to five dollars in gold look at the abcd patterns that are here you'll see how the market statistically goes up to those exact numbers a b equals cd so what i tried to do today was to follow through with this as it was happening so as we saw this occurring i did the second step because after we made those numbers i just wanted to get this up here so you'll be able to see what happened we we made the old one number we came right down to a 382 retracement you can see it right there just absolutely perfectly at uh, 12 uh, 4291 and we go all the way up to 4317 which has so far been our high of the day i think we've hit it twice but the way that we did it of course is really cool because uh, you know you're having tremendous volatility here folks I don't know what's going to happen here soon but somebody smells something in the garbage can and the garbage doesn't get taken out for a few more days so I don't know what's going to happen my biggest fear is because we're closed down here in China for these this past week because of Golden Week, what's happening is there might be some type of an announcement, either good or bad. I don't know. It could be either one coming out of China over the weekend, and that could be a uh, you know significant market event. But you remember, I don't follow the news, so that really doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So, uh, so it's a <laughs> I don't know what that means, David. But thank you very much. Anyway, we will uh, we'll keep an eye on this here uh, market to show you but there's there's one market that was very important we talked about it yesterday did exactly what we thought it might do and that is let's just get it up here so we can all take a look at it this is the treasury bond market very big okay this is uh this is what we're looking at here you you we went down the 786 retra larry stop it the 61 percent retracement was 158 16 and the market went to 158.09, and then it immediately reversed. And, of course, it's had a little bit of a rally. But that's all that is so far, folks, is just a little bit of a rally. It doesn't mean very much at all. A close below 158.09 will tell you that, yes, that has failed, and we are starting down. But all that was is – and that's technical people. They go to realize that all those stops that were there in the end of uh, September were hit. No, There was no selling there, and so when the shorts start to cover – Away it goes to the upside, and what does it do? It rallies a thousand dollars without even uh, without even batting an eye. So that's just the technical nature of the bond market. The Treasury notes did exactly the same thing. So nothing's really changed in that, other than the technical figure of uh, 158.16 being violated a little bit, and we're trading, I believe, at 159.20 now. So that doesn't mean a whole lot. Now, if we get above the the 160 level, yes, it probably will mean something. We'll be right back, folks. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, sure, folks, I posted a chart of PayPal. Uh, th this is an absolute perfect buy signal in PayPal, folks, given the Gartley formation. You'll see it's a perfect ABCD in price and time. Uh, I mean, just can't ask for any better. It might not work, but by golly, it's uh, it, it's spot on. Uh, thanks, Jeff, from uh, Philadelphia for sending that in, but it's a, a really, really nice one. So we want to remind ourselves of that. Folks, we've had some type of a move that you just don't see very often in some of these things. I'm going to bring it to your attention today because I happen to be watching it uh, very closely, especially when the crude oil was making a new high up there at uh, that 79.70 level, which was a 1.618 expansion. But this is the natural gas, folks, what's been going on. But today, folks, we've had a 20 thousand dollar move in natural gas today uh, we had an eight thousand dollar move in it before it really broke so that's the kind of thing that what's going on uh mr z is you share the standard deviation uh i don't want to share that mr z because that that's a that that's something that people have to learn themselves i can tell them something but it it you know it's it's just well when they do, folks, option trading is about probably 10 times or more than the futures trading. Futures trading isn't very much, but the action happens in the option market. The options, they have these uh, really uh, sophisticated programs, and it's based on the mean uh, of the move and how many standard deviations it moves beyond the mean. That's how they price the options. For it to go to one standard deviation is uh, very easy to do, but to go to two standard deviations, it's uh, it's the Black-Scholes model. That's right, David. And uh, so anyway, it's, it's quite simple, but what when a market goes beyond one standard deviation, that's the wake-up call for the option sellers that they have to do something, either puts or calls. Uh, just, you know, you can imagine what they've done here uh, it, just in the uh, options market in the natural gas here today, folks, because we went from 644 all the way down to 580. That's a six. That that in itself, folks, is a is a eight thousand dollar move. And it did it. Uh, it did it twice up and down. 
I mean, give me a break. I mean, that that that's volatility that you you just can't believe in. That's why when you get past these numbers, it's very important. You remember that important number of 4260 in the S&P. We've not we've not closed below that. That was that big ABCD. We've been down there three times now. Today we got down to 4270. We held it, rallied right back. When we close below 4260, that's when the option boys are going to have to come in and cover their positions, i.e., start selling because they sold uh, puts. Uh, yeah, they sold puts against this, and they have to start covering those. So that that's why it means so very much. If you if you're interested in figuring that out yourself. Uh, all you have to do is get the Floor Traders Handbook. It's really simple, simple math, back of the envelope math, and it'll give you another indication of where you're at. When you get Fibonacci numbers, A, B, C, D, and standard deviations coming together at the same time, you just can't get it any better than that, folks, because that puts the odds, you know, very, very heavily uh, in your favor. Those of you that are sports better, oh, I have to tell you my one of my favorite stories uh those of you that are sports bettors that's what these sports bettors do is they know the odds of how many times this guy's caught the ball of whether it's raining or not it's all a numbers game if you could see how they figure out what the odds are you would be absolutely amazed how much computers are involved with that okay now one of my favorite baseball stories folks it's october 6 1989 and the new york mets are playing the atlanta braves and the old cowboys got 200 bucks on the game and i'm setting at pomona valley hospital with my sainted mother who had just taken her second airline flight the first one when my daughter jill was born the year before and this was her second flight i picked her up at the airport, took her to the hospital, and uh, well, we had to wait quite a while for the labor, so I'm watching the game and watching the game, and finally the little this little sweetheart was born, and I go into the uh, into the delivery room, and my mom's there, and uh, er everything's going, and I, I look down at the baby, and I said, uh, hmm, doesn't look as cute as Jill, and the next thing I heard, folks, was a slap on my face, my mother cold cock me i mean i she'd never hit me that hard she was so mad at me she says if i ever hear you say anything like that again she says i will never speak to you again and that's the only time in my life that my mother ever hit me and of course it's a big joke in the family now because laren 52 years old today today was her birthday and the mets won and i won the 200 bucks and i was more concerned about the baseball game than i was having my second child which was sick at the time but God got even with me, and I'll tell you why. Laren turned out to be the very first Noxema girl. If you've ever seen these these uh, uh, commercials where the little dog is pulling on the, the little bikini of the little girl, well, Laren was one of those first girls. And so she made $15,000 that they put into a fund for her, for her to use for college. And uh, I get rubbed in about that a bit, too. But uh, that's neither here. And not only that, but my, my daughter, Laren, is absolute spinning image of my uh, my mother. So that is another thing that was uh, good about that. Anyway, that was the only time. And she called when I called her today to talk to her about it, you know, she reminded me that was the only time my mom had ever uh, my mom had ever hit me. And I felt bad about it because I was so wrapped up in the game. Seaver was pitching. And I, I just and I was a big Tom Seaver fan because he played at USC. Anyway, I, I, you know, I don't know. I, don't, I apologize. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> I made so many goof -offs in my life. I have to do one at a time. Folks, here's something big's happening, folks. Uh, let's just get it up here and take a look at it here. We, we had a really interesting trade here uh, in the uh, euro that lasted just about a day. Very, very, very small loss because we were at such a critical level. You've noticed we've broken down here now, folks. We had that little tiny uh, two-day rally. Uh, that's what we were looking at, and it, and it breaks down below that. That's not good. Anytime you get below that, that's telling you that something is not right. And if you remember, what we were basing it on was the long-term weekly chart. Let's just get this up here because I want to bring it to your attention. Hold on. Give me one second here. We have Stan Harley as our guest today. And you'll see here, uh, we're looking at hit down a little bit lower is going to hit the exact 50% retracement down here at uh, the, about just about the exact number of the 115 level. So watch that euro at the 115. The reason why you have to watch the euro at the 115, folks, is because of the big daddy rabbit. This is where everybody plays in the same game. 
Here is the U.S. dollar index on the weekly. We've been waiting for this puppy for weeks and weeks and weeks, and we are almost there. About another 30, 40 pips in the U.S. dollar index on the weekly, 94.80, and we are going to be having games. So watch the euro, 115. Watch the dollar index at 94.70, and also – Please put a stop in because when these things don't work, man, as we remember in our uh, picture of the uh, heating oil this week, which was our only losing trade. Well, the, the euro lost 150 bucks, but, you know, we had some big ones and other things. Uh, but anyway, let's keep an eye on that because it's going to be really interesting. Don't risk more than $300 at those points because they have to be absolutely perfect or they just don't work. We're going to have Stan Harley coming up in just a few minutes, hopefully, with all technical things being good. Tomorrow we have Tim Boston on Friday. 45-minute show, folks, with none other than Joe. He calls it like it is DiNapoli. Hopefully he'll have some of his political views like he shared with us the last time. And the fact that he wasn't banned by TFNN was a good sign. And we'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back, and I hope we have Stan Harley on the line. Stan, are you there? 
I am indeed, Larry. Hey, it's good talking to you, and I have to give you a big thank you from everybody at TFNN that listens to you because they said, please, please tell him thanks for all the alerts that you've given us over these past few weeks that they were getting ready to see at least some type of correction. So, again, kudos to you for being so good at what you're doing and sharing your information with us. So I really want to thank you for that. You want to go ahead and start with the, the first chart, which I believe is the uh, S&P 500 weekly, and you're looking something around the 18th of October. That was a Sunday in 1987, as I remember. <laughs> so go ahead, my friend. Do you think there's any relationship to that low that we had in 1987 on the 19th and 20th to what we're looking at now? Oh, Larry, no, I don't. Um, okay, good. I think yeah. it's more coincidence than anything. Market cycles are dynamic. While mm -hmm. I I, I, we all of us, uh, certainly in the technical analysis community, are well aware that there is a seasonal aspect to the market, and very frequently the market has a yeah. tendency to make cycle bottoms in the month of October. That's yeah. not always the case, but it does happen a very large percentage yeah. of the time. I would never yeah. trade based only on that. But yeah. uh, when we close the books on the year 2021, I think this is going to turn out to be one of those very textbook years. <laughs> Wow, uh, I I can remember I can remember the day after on the twentieth of uh, of October that year when we finally made the bottom. When you go back and look at it historically, that was exactly at a sixty one percent retracement of the low of nineteen eighty two, and they kept calling it the market crash, the market crash. You know that's a misnomer. It should be classified as the best buying opportunity of the nineteen eighties, because that's what it was. In fact, you know it was it was a mar the market went down, but that was the best time to buy stocks for the whole decade of the 1980s it, it was yeah, so, indeed and, yeah, and yeah. i you and i lived in southern california at the time i remember watching yep. it on channel 22 yeah uh, kwhy yep. for uh, the listeners that uh, this was way before cnbc and everything and even fnn yeah. the yep. only i think there were only two financial stations in the entire usa one was in la that yeah. was channel 22 yeah. you and i were frequent frequents on that on that station yep and I believe there was one in Chicago as well. Yeah. Yes, that was that was uh, uh, Ira Epstein's show. He had a yeah. he had a show. Yeah. yeah, he was on quite a bit. But you know that it was uh, uh, that was I can't remember the guy's name. Uh, Glenn, Glenn ne not Glenn Neely. Glenn. Uh, Oh, he owned TFNN, and it was part of uh, not TF. I'm sorry, FNN was part of a Merrill Lynch program. You know that was the the main thing. And then when that happened, at 20 years later, when uh, oh dear, now I'm slipping. I'm I, I'm thinking of Ron uh, Ron Insana, Bill Griffiths, and Sue Herrera went to uh, Sue and Bill went to New York to see to NBC to to get them to do a, a show. And they see, yeah, we'll take a shot at it. And that was the start of CNBC because of uh, Sue Herrera, who just retired this year. But Sue was a good friend, and uh, she did incredibly well. Is happily with her uh, internal medicine husband raising uh, ex exotic dogs. Anyway, let's forget about that. Tell us about what we're looking at here on October 18th, my friend. Yeah. Absolutely. This is a weekly chart of the S&P 500 going back to the year 2016. And what I've done with purple vertical lines is I've highlighted the, um, the major lows that have occurred. And one can see we, we saw a low back in November 2016. Um, we, uh, we had another low, of course, in early 2018. Then at the end, end of 2018 and then in March of last year. And those lows are defined by a cyclical function. It's the same function, but it contracts and expands. Nominally, it spans about 40 weeks, 39.8, as you can see on the chart. There's some Fibonacci math that goes into that. Um, but it's, it's all the same cycle. It's just an expansion contraction. Uh. And, uh, and good old 39.8 times 2 is 79.6. So if you add 80 weeks, roughly, to the March 20th low, you get to about where we are right now. And my work with the daily chart says it's probably going to expand a couple of weeks into the week of uh, the 18th of October. And that's where wow. I think we're going to bottom out. Um, wow. And as I said, it's going to be kind of a textbook October, October low. I think that's more coincidental than anything, but uh, the cycles work. Certainly the, w the weekly cyclical analysis suggests that's the likelihood. And then on the next chart we have here, Larry, 
Um, uh, I, I, I remember this next chart. That's what I helped you with uh, develop a lot when we first met 40 years ago. Do you remember me teaching you about this velocity stuff? Uh, absolutely. Every day. <laughs> I hope you got a sense of humor, folks. By and, the way, someone. And point eight six is point seven eight six as well. Um, uh, the uh, what I what a lot of technicians do is they measure rate of change. Some yeah. people call that momentum. I'm an engineer. I don't like that term at all. I call it price velocity. Essentially, yeah. it's a speedometer on the market. And what I do is I compute three different measures of price velocity. Why? Because in order to correctly assess the waveform in any type of price-based indicator, one has to know what the cycle is at that time. And that's an unknowable thing. Cycles ex contract and expand. They're, they're always moving. So how does, the, how does the engineer or the scientist or the market technician get around that problem? Well, what we have to do is we have to make computations across multiple time frames, i.e., I'm, I'm using three look-back periods here, 7, 14, and 27, and plot them on the same graph. And look at this. You can see all three are heading south. What does that mean? It means the bottom is not in yet. That's what it means. <laughs> okay. Okay. And when we good. do bottom, That's those great. dots will turn up, uh, but we're not there yet. So we've got a little bit more downside work to go. Okay, now the next one is very interesting because it, it lines up with, uh, I guess that's a 200-day moving average that uh, that you're looking at here, that red yes, line? Yes, Larry, yes. Uh, the okay. third chart that will be coming up here momentarily is a, not a weekly, but a daily chart of the S&P 500 cash index that I just printed off about 15 minutes ago. Uh -huh. And uh, one can see that we've been kind of hovering in a, in a, in a trading range. Um, right around the 4,300 area uh, on the S&P 500 cash. Uh, but I suspect when uh, when we're done, we're probably going to break down to the 200-day moving average. So we've got some more work to do on the downside. That 200-day uh, that comes in at 4,147 today. My sense is there's a good chance we will see the S&P down there uh, the week of October 18th. And we could break just modestly below it. But I think that's probably going to be supported, Larry. And we'll chop wow. around, and, and that will just about do it for, uh, for the cyclical decline, wow. and we'll be set up uh, for the next move higher. I think that'll be a great buying opportunity. Well, Stan, I've just been informed by TFNN that you've won the daily prize for today, and that prize is you have been invited back on October the 18th. How does that sound? Oh, my God. <laughs> that, that's a Monday. Do you think you could make that for us? I, it would be my yeah, time, time. Time committing. Let's just do that. And sure. I, 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 let's take a look at this last one, which is the uh, home price uh, Schiller index that uh, people are interested in. So you want to tell the folks what uh, what you're seeing here? Uh, what, absolutely. So we'll take, a little, take a little break, Stan, and we'll be right back. Okay. Okay. I hope you have the time. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for valued tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with a 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. We're chatting with Stan Harley about the uh, Schiller Chase, uh, whatever uh, index is. How, how does this figure in with your analysis, uh, Alan? Uh, Stan? Larry, a lot of people I know are interested in real estate. During the break, uh, there was an advertisement uh, for some real estate opportunities down in Florida. So a lot of folks uh, that watch the program are interested not only in, in – in the stock market and the commodities market, but also interested in real estate. Well, okay. any investment endeavor traded by human beings goes up and down. And I found there is a cyclicality in the real estate market that one needs to be very cognizant of. Um, this chart is the national Case Shiller Index. The, uh, the Case Shiller data is released to the public the last Tuesday of every month. It is housed on the FRED website, which is a U.S. government website. It's available for free, and anyone can download the data and put it into a spreadsheet, and that's what I do, and I analyze it. There are, wow. There's a national index, which is what this chart is the graphic of, and there are separate regional indices. There are 20 regional indices, and there are 10 regional indices representing the 10 largest metropolitan areas in the United States. And wow. I look at the Case Shiller data and the various indices just, I, just as I do the stock market for either confirmation or divergences. I've done wow. a, a very detailed cyclical analysis of the data and I have found that there's a cycle that averages right about 64 months. That's about five and a half years in the data series. So about every five and a half months, every 64.4 months, plus or minus, uh, we tend to get major inflection points in the real estate market. The top wow. back in 06 was uh, coincident with that cycle. Uh, the low in, uh, in 2012 was, and then by my analysis, we've got the next occurrence in this cycle occurring in the vicinity of November 2022, plus or minus about wow. two to three months. And I wow. think that's going to represent a major high in the real estate market nationwide. Okay, Stan, we have a caller from uh, Philadelphia. Jeff, are you on the line? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, thanks Fire for taking away. my call. I wanted to ask um, Mr. Harley if he had a recommendation for a, a book or books to learn um, the pattern analysis tools that, that he uses. 
Good question. Um, I have, like Larry, like a lot of us, have been a student of technical analysis for me about 40 years. Um, a good, a lot of the things that I have done have been have occurred more uh, as a result of self-study. Um, but um, uh, the Profit mag Magic of Stock Transaction Timing, published back in 1968, that was one of my early primers for uh, cycle analysis, if you can find the book. I, I don't think it's any longer in print. Um, what else would be a good book? Well, go to the oh. Foundation for the Study of Cycles. My gosh, they've got some wonderful material there, and a lot of it's free. Well, they do, but the... the uh, public access to the library is not available right now like it used to. Oh, the, the, oh okay. Yeah, okay. the materials are locked up. Some are in a, uh, a warehouse um, in New Jersey, uh -huh. and some are held by the Market Technicians Association, now called the CMT. Uh -huh. So I, oh, I'm not okay. sure that's available. You know, that's a great question. I have a, a library full of books, but to, to, to the uh, viewer's question, um, I'm not sure there's going to be a definitive book that describes exactly what I do. Um, mm -hmm. and what I've learned uh, over, over time is just my association with various people and then just a lot of serious number crunching. Someday I'm going to write a book. I know you've written, you've authored, I believe, three books, Larry. Um, and I think the viewers should just endeavor to get their hands on as, as much that's written out there and keep about 200 books on the, on the bookshelf and over time. That's yeah. certainly well, been my, my my process. All right. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, I look forward to uh, the day when you uh, publish your book. Terrific. Thank you for your, for your kind words. Stan, thank, all right, you, thank very you very much. Thank you all. I'll go. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot, Jeff. We appreciate it. Stan, thanks for being our guest today, and we'll see you on the 18th of October. And, uh, you know, it's just, uh, just a great to have you on listening to what you have to say, especially about the real estate. That's going to be an interesting one to keep an eye on, too, as along with the others. Thank you, so Larry. Thanks, I, I'll thanks, look forward to it. Yeah. Hey, thanks for joining us, buddy. I really do appreciate it. And stay safe out there. Absolutely. It, it's a jungle. <laughs> okay, folks, that was Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. If you'd like to get a letter, just go to Google it, and you'll be able to – he'll send you a letter so you can test it out. But uh, he's done a great job here, you know, telling us some of these things to look for. And I've known him a very long time, and he's certainly a stand-up guy. And uh, – He's as about as straight arrow as you'd probably want to meet. Okay, now I wanted to cover a couple of other quick things uh, that we were chatting about before, and I think it's that important, and that is let's get back to this U.S. dollar index. Uh, to me, this is a, this is a member from the old Woodward and uh, Bernstein stuff, you know, follow the money. This, this is how you follow the money, folks. If you'll take a look at this, you'll see here that we've had this uh, – We've been waiting for this for a very long time here. This is a move uh, up to this area right here, about 94.77. It's going to equate to the euro going to come in around 115. We thought the euro might have came in at 115.80, but it did not. Once it went below that 80 level, folks, that was telling you that it was going to go a little bit lower. That's why you use a very, very tight stop on these numbers. You know, that the whole key to this is not how much money you win. It's how much money you don't lose. I mean, we have a huge move in the soybeans. It moved well over twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300. And the, and the euro, it lost a little bit. Well, that's, that's exactly what you're trying to do. That big move that we had in beans made up more than two and a half times what our loss was in the the uh, heating oil in that heating oil trade that just didn't work it just exploded to the upside and you don't know which ones are going to work the timing on that was related to what was happening to the people talking in Saudi Arabia and if you don't think those guys play the market <laughs> you better get some uh, better get some new information because they they play it as much as the directors of the Federal Reserve do folks it's all about money and believe me uh, one of my favorite stories if you remember the, the old guy his name was uh, Alan Greenspan do you know what he did every Wednesday when he was in Washington, D.C. He had breakfast with one of his very, very dear friends, college buddy, none other than Robert Rubin, the, who, was, who was none other than the guy that was running Citibank at the time. So when Citibank got into trouble in Mexico with foreign bonds, guess who bailed him out? 
Yes, the Federal Reserve did, and those people that own those Mexican bonds didn't lose any money. Well, that's how the back scratches the cat, and the cat scratches the back, boys and girls. You've got to remember that this is a game that's not evenly played, and you've got to look at one thing, and that is that chart. Because if the chart has got bars going up, there's more buying. Bar is going down. There's more selling. How do you explain the fact that Bitcoin has moved eight thousand dollars this week when the stock market's getting absolutely killed? Well, it's not the stock market, folks. It's Satoshi's. We'll be right back, folks. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge, heard here at TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I'm back, and I wanted to show you the chart of the U.S. dollar index on a daily over the last five months. That's what I'm looking at in here. Uh, those of you that belong to the 24-7, uh, I try to send these out, especially on the year, at least every other day, because we're getting ready to uh, to make a pretty big position on that. Well, that's always just a one lot or two lot, whatever you do, uh, and hopefully make it for a longer-term position trade like we've been able to do on some of these other things. But 
the main thing to remember is it's not quite there yet. We've got a little bit more time to go. Uh, I thought we were there based on the fact that we'd held that ABCD, but as you can see, it only held it for two days, and then it went down. That's why these numbers are so important, folks, because it tells you whether you're, you know, you don't have to wait two or three days. I have this painting behind me. You can see up there. One of the things is the three-day rule, and then if you have a loss at the end of three days, uh, you've done something wrong, and you should get out. And I got that one from Amos Hostetter, and uh, that's uh, on that that oil painting that's behind my head here. But uh, that that's an important one because if you if you start doing the stupid mistakes that neophyte traders do, like adding to losing positions and something like that, that's that's when you really uh, then you really do damage to yourself. It not only does damage to your uh, credit. Uh, for your commodity account or stock account, whatever it happens to be, but it does damage to your trading soul, and that's what you don't want to have to do. You want to be able to have that energy to come in and to be able to see these things uh, unfold like you like to see them. But we're going to have incredible volatility, much like we're seeing today. Uh, if we get a move today above this uh, 4330 level in the uh, E-mini S&P, that would be a sign that uh, we could be rallying uh, in the next day or two. Just great volatility. The low we made last night in the NASDAQ, do this yourself and check it. The high Friday, excuse me, yesterday was an exact 78% retracement up there at 14,770. We went down to the 78% retracement, down 300 handles this morning, and we rallied up 200 handles to the 78% level. So check those numbers yourself. Defy human nature and live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Mm -hmm.